Shall I wait for you, Sarah? <laughs> Dang, Mastin's going to bed already. Hey, <laughs> camera check. Okay. Okay, cool. Did you want to be in it? You want me? Okay. okay. All right. Well, we're doing a bit of a non traditional podcast today um, because we're hungry. Right. <laughs> and trying to get everything done. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I'll be flying back home early tomorrow, but. Um, I got to shoot with a new person, um, Bashi, Bashi Pope, who is, you go by your real name, yes, ma'am. which is wild. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, we already had a, a chat, um, outside, but I thought that it would be cool if people could know a little bit more about who you are, where you come from, um, relatively new to the industry when was the first time that you did your first shoot first shoot yeah first shoot was with um Sika Black okay cool first shoot was with Sika everything went good yep um she let me know that I did a good job and that <laughs> I need to continue okay so was there there was good chemistry yeah 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 <laughs> Yeah, because all together, I did my first shoot with her, and right now we got about like five scenes together. Okay. Yeah. Well, seems like a happy shooting partner there. Yeah. Um, so you have a bit of a non traditional um, past. How did you find yourself uh, deciding to go into the industry, or um, how did you decide on this being a career path, or did you not? You just got. <laughs> Surprise! Yeah, and sucked into it. Yeah, definitely didn't decide. It definitely was. Um, my friend Destiny, she had basically told me like, I should do it. Mm -hmm. Um, I do good doing it and things of that nature. Yeah. So, I mean, I <laughs> I didn't know about no OnlyFans and none of that stuff because I was in like. I was in prison when all that was already coming out. Yep. So, like, I came home from prison into all that. So, I really didn't know a lot. She had told me to do the Snapchat thing. Yep. Make a backup Instagram. Yep. Make my own fan. That's so all cool. All this. And then I did it. And I got in contact with Sika. Yep. We shot. I shot with Sika. And it just... It kept going from there. And that's cool. It kept going from there. Did you uh, imagine when you were in prison that the opportunity getting out was going to be this cool? No. <laughs> totally far fetched. Yeah. Totally far fetched. I think when you come from a certain aspect of life, mm -hmm. you don't look at certain things in its proper form. Right. Or certain things or how it would be other than the usual how it is activities that you see you know what i'm saying right um yeah so uh yeah I, I remember us talking about how when you got out you were sort of looking back at what your life was like before um you got in prison and thinking like why would i why would I do all of that? Why? Look how cool my life is right now. Yeah. We were just sitting outside, like, chilling, naked, laying out. Because you don't, <laughs> you don't get to realize the little things. You know what I'm saying? Like, little things that are good. Yeah, but in instance, like, you know how many people is stuck there? And they ain't never coming home. Yeah. And they would give their life just to be, just to sit down for an hour and talk with a naked woman. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like... Definitely. Definitely something you don't really think about in life. Yeah, so when you... You're win, like, wait, that might not be a possibility ever. Mm-hmm. Really? really? Never. Like, they got natural life. So they know that they got to be there forever. Like... Mm. Right. Never again. 
That's wild. Yeah, so it's like, yeah. When you win, all the people that's back there that lost, yep, they win as well. Mm, yeah. Because you was a person that came from their struggle. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you hear... There's quite yourself, a bit of camaraderie. So it's like they can live through you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So the win for me is cool, but overall, it's for every other person that never could do it, never thought about it, don't ain't never going to have the opportunity, no, none of that. They just... They done off. So yeah, it's a W for all of them. Mm. Did... um, How did... Uh, prison change you or grow you and tell me about some of your friendships while you were there prison also make you get into yourself give in to yourself get into yourself get into yourself mm -hmm. so like introspect like for instance like you know sometimes a man might run around and do certain things and not do the things that he need to do as far as in upkeeping himself and things of that nature so now when you go to prison, it's like, you know, you take a shower every day, two, three right. times a day. You're eating two, three, four, five times a day. You're not smoking. You're not doing drugs. You're not doing a lot of things. So you right. get to get into yourself. You get to really see how you look without all the years of abuse. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you get to see yourself. You get to see your skin clearer. You get to see a whole lot about yourself and you learn yourself and you get to start to take care of yourself and I think prison turn prison turn a lot of boys into men yeah and they get to get a different outlook on life from there like I right, I did that boom right. boom but this and this is bigger it's all type of shit that's going on and it took me some time to sit down to really figure out like I was just running in a circle right so like prison that's what prison is. Prison, prison is going to teach you. It's going to show you. It's going to, it's going to make you learn yourself, and that's going to better you. So that when you approaching anybody else, you already have a better outlook. You already have a um, your conversation is better. Everything is better. Everything is better. That's what prison do. Yeah, it takes away all the unimportant stuff mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that you thought was really important. Exactly. That's cool. Um, how long have you been out? Right now? Um, three years and about... Yeah, that's a pretty long time. Yeah, like three years and about ten days. Yeah, so then, like, you're set, like, everything's going great. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah, um, yeah, you have excellent manners, like... <laughs> <laughs> like got the door for us like the whole yeah trip and like even um thought about what we needed like beforehand and would do it for us it was really nice yeah um and bashi outside of you know industry stuff for those who don't know oh is yeah also a Skateboarding. super athlete despite some mega injuries that he's had he is outrageously talented skater yeah, with tell me rollerblades, what... not skateboard. And I realized this earlier when I said skate. Different... I'm like, there's such a large. Maybe you could just say blading. Would that? Yeah, blading. Yeah, blading. Okay. That would yeah, be a term. always correct me with things like that because I'm like, that's your realm, mm -hmm. not mine. Yeah, tell me about um, a blading, rollerblading, and uh, you do competitions. Yeah, rollerblading. Is, rollerblading is like that's what everything came from. You started when you were super young? I started when I was like six. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm 37 right now, so I've been skating a long time. Did you get to do it in prison? No. Oh, that would have oh, been cool. I just thought about it. You could have not so good. <laughs> I, I, had it, I had it in my mind the whole time, so that's why I never lost it. Like, yeah, because you're still really good. The muscle that's memory amazing. is there. I would just walk. Like, I would be walking to the chow hall. I'd just be walking. Then I'd just be doing tricks in my brain. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and, um, the, and the crazy thing is when I um, came home from prison I wasn't even thinking about skating my friend Kelly she was like um I've been going through some shit while you've been gone and this this and that and all this stuff crazy shit she like you need to skate cause skating helped me and you fresh home and that's cool yeah she I came and brought me a pair of skates and started back skating and shit like so it was really like Kelly is the one who got me back into skating like that's great. Yeah. But I started at six. I turned pro about 
I want to say I turned pro about 11. Oh, wow. Yeah, I turned pro about 11 years old. Wow. Yeah, real fast. Real fast process. I guess I was natural at it. Turned pro, had a lot of sponsors. I traveled the world. By the time I was about 12, mm-hmm. that's when I caught my first case. That's why I selling drugs. Oh, got it. Okay. Okay. I didn't initially go to prison until about 16, though, mm-hmm. the first time. But as far as rollerblading, rollerblading showed me a lot as well, too. Yeah. It made, yeah, it opened up my eyesight to, like, the broader things inside the world, you know? Mm-hmm. You got to travel a bunch, too. Got to travel, hang with a lot of different cultures. A lot of my friends is, like, mm-hmm. mixed and things of that nature. So it's, like, it's just a, it's a good melting pot. It's something that someone like me needed at that moment. Mm-hmm. No, that makes complete sense. Um, so, was a, the driver for selling drugs just to make money? Or was it also, I guess, like a feeling of like belonging, like there was a group or, or both? It was more so. It was more so both. Yeah, I would imagine. The money aspect wasn't really too much of a problem because I was mad. I was super young. So I was right. still like a mama's boy. You know, With been a mama's boy face. since like day one. Yeah, I'm her first. So mm-hmm. I've been a mama's boy. So from being a mama's boy, it trickles down to like my uncles and grandfathers and all them. All them, all them niggas was like hustlers and shit. Oh, got it. So I was the first that was like shower with everything and. Mm-hmm. Um, how you say that word? Spoil you and all that. Right. Shit, right. So, I'm going through all of that, whatever. So, when I did start hustling, it was more so like, it was just like, it was more so like a thought like, let me see if I can hustle or something. Mm-hmm. And I hustled and that's what happened. It wasn't like, oh, I was doing extremely bad and no, it wasn't none of that. Okay. Right. Mama's there, the grandparents, everybody's there. Dad, everybody's there. It's just... I just started selling drugs, you know? Yeah. And I never stopped skating. Right. So I was just skating and selling drugs. That's kind of wild. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Um, I did get to uh, do a scene with... A couple scenes with Bashi. Probably like more than one. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, and I noticed that there's some interesting modifications on uh, on your dick that you got in prison, and you did most of them yourself. Yeah. So um, that is a like a common thing, or just a something that thing. sometimes <laughs> happens. Mm. I just feel like that's the most distinct it's more thing like, ever. It's more like prison is already black market, but okay. it's like. It's like undercover, super duper black market in prison. Mm-hmm. You know? So it's like, a lot of the dudes that first got it, <laughs> like a lot of dudes that first got it was like the older Spanish guys. Yeah. So like, they were the first dudes that really like got it. And then like it trickled down to like the younger Spanish guys. Now, a lot of people ain't know about it because the Spanish guys, they inside a whole different game. Right. Then the black <laughs> dudes is inside a whole different game, right? Mm-hmm. So for instance, now it's like the younger Spanish dudes is getting it now, but the younger Spanish dudes is in the same game as the black dudes. Got you understand? It. So now like, okay. you know, it's it starts not to so trickle separated. down now. So now it's like, yo, but what's that? Oh now you know I... So now you get to learn about shit. So now it's like uh-huh. <laughs> So when I first learned about it, it's probably like two thousand five. I was young, it was like two thousand five. Interesting. Yeah, I said, yeah, I'm going to do that. And so explain to people listening to this exactly what Because she is. does a lot of fetish, which yeah, is very different, might, but I don't might think... might be a fetish. Yeah, so I've like, only known of one who had pearls. It, it's and called that was, pearls? Mm-hmm. I met somebody when I was about 15. So it's basically implants. Mm-hmm. So the pieces is to your preference but my preference what i would tell people and what i when i do the surgery and what i put into people is elephant tusk okay you know that's yeah, yeah. like that's a that's the stone or whatever that shit is that's the material that okay 
was told to me to use on people that it wouldn't won't cause any yeah, issues. Yeah, because some people could use plastic or wood, but Got it's just it. like that's not how you do it. That's not how you do it. That's just being fast. That's not yeah. how you do it. Because you put it in it and it stays forever. Yeah. So why would you want to put something in it and maybe it can get affected or maybe it can. Ah, that's yeah, your thing. Maybe you can have an autoimmune response. Yeah, your, that's your like that that's your awful. thing. Like, so you want to sit something in that yeah. that won't hurt it. But the elephant tusk is what I used. I got the first one done. Um, it probably took about two minutes, literally two minutes. Yeah. Each surgery took like two minutes. I got five. Each surgery was about two minutes. Uh, the healing time is about. Two days. That's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. It's a trick to it that I learned where I already knew from skating yeah. and things of that nature. Like just natural, like when you get like a little cut. Yep. It's better to let it air dry than to keep a band aid on it and keep Got it, it moist. Keep it wet. So if you let it air dry, the blood gonna drop and that scab is gonna start to form quicker. Mm -hmm. But it's gonna be bunched up in that scab or whatever that club is for the meantime. Right. So right. it's gonna be semi healed. Until that starts to break off, and then the scab starts to come, and then the scab starts to break off, and then, you know. And anyway. then it's all good. But once you do the surgery, when you sleep when you sleep naked, oh, that good. next morning you wake up, it's already dried. Because oh, yeah. it's just two nips. Yeah. It's already dried. So you just rock out for the next day. You sleep naked again, it's going to be even more dry. Yeah. And your healing process is damn near done. Three days and you're done. You know, so. Was your first one the heart? The, my, nah, my first one was... The pill, yeah. it's, it's like right, right, it's like right behind the head. Um, the second one was on the side. Yep. The third one was the other side, so it was one, two, and three. The so, and one, once they're set, you can't really move them around. They stay. Um, they you stay, can. but they can't move around. So okay. they move around. Whatever is inside, whatever skin and things that's going on inside the okay. shaft, yep. shaft, is what makes it. Move to a certain amount. So yeah. this, these side, the ones on the side, yeah, can actually come up to the top. Okay, got it. You but they can't saying? go to the bottom. The ones on the side can actually go to the bottom. Okay. But they won't stay inside those places where they at. Because the scar tissue healed around that area, yeah. so it's as much as you can move the skin, right? But they're gonna go right back to where they were. So yeah, like so, if it's chilling, it's gonna go right back, like. Huh. But you can't grip it and have it lined up to the bottom and like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. yeah, that's so interesting. So the fourth, the fourth one was like a little bit behind, like right before mm -hmm. my pelvis area. Yeah, is the fourth one. The fourth one is a little bit more skinnier, yeah. so it's just supposed to like just tap it, like just a flicker. The fifth one is in the middle. That's the heart. So the heart is like. That's the biggest one yeah, for sure. Yeah, the heart is the biggest one. The heart yeah. is thick. The all the way around. Thick. It's yeah. thick all the way around, like very thick. It's a big piece. That exactly. was the um, that was the biggest cut I got. The yeah. biggest cut, yeah. We man, as big as the heart is, that that's mm, how big the cut was. Mm, 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 Literally like a gash. Like yeah, I had me to and Siren both are not fans. No. Uh, me and Siren. Me and Laura. Yeah. I'm like I hear what you're I was saying. Like, I was like, ooh, that's hard. That one's fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. that one the was... other ones weren't really. No, those ones are all fine. That yeah. one's terrifying. <laughs> I tried to give her a suggestion about how to get in a position when she was outside. Yeah, she didn't want to tilting, tilting pelvis. Tilting yeah. or just on doggy. doggy. <laughs> Those are the safest ways to not yeah. have that destroyed. Missionary That's why this morning was the only reason I could do pelvis. it was because I like tilted my hips super far so I could like push my pelvis into mm -hmm. as deep as I could and make room for it. I was like, otherwise, I was like, no, we're not, not doing this. <laughs> I have yeah. a life. Yeah. Yeah, you are... Definitely super well endowed and can't, can't, uh, can't change that. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, but he did. I you, I did. You, can, I did. you can make it even a little bigger, I guess. I count it, I count, I count it as like, in, as like, you know, like, for instance, like, you may see a woman and she may have her butt done, or yeah, she may have, her, yeah, or she she may might have, have a like breast Brazilian done. butt lift or yeah. something, or, or, or she may have a breast done. It's to enhance her, yeah, you know? like. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, it's not, not for everyone. Her titties is not for her. Like, truthfully, her titties is not for her. Yeah. Her titties look nice on her, but she's like, all right, these titties is for the world. Like, yeah, that's right. I got these nice titties so the, the world can see these nice they titties. Can I got this ass so that when I walk by, people be like, 
Yeah, why do you think he had no underwear on in the gym today? Yeah. He shows that shit off. That's right. Look mm-hmm. at my dick. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you um, you said something cool earlier this trip um, when I said, what type of girl are you attracted to? What's your type of girl? Like, do you like muscular girls? You know, and of course I'm steering towards these like physical <laughs> aspects. But. And uh, he gives this super deep answer, which I will let you um, give again so I thought it was really good <laughs> the preface is really like this it's like I'm also like a woman that's into herself that know herself so that like that right there it comes out of her into her vibe and that you know we can be cohesive and have this right here going on yeah. cause everybody you don't have this going on with you know, yeah, some people it. you just fucking be like, all right, it's done, it's done. Like, that's cool. Like, you we know, did like, it. all right, yeah, Bye. it's over. <laughs> but some people be like, all right, that's good. I can't wait to fuck yeah, you. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's do it. Like, you know, but yeah. it's the vibe that's there. It's the connection. So it's not about the looks. It's not about the colors. It's not about uh, yeah, the size. It's not about none of that with a woman. Mm-hmm. If you have a good vibe, a good attitude, that's what. It's attractive. Yeah, that's yeah. what attract. That's that's what is attractive. Yeah, I That's do, what is attractive because you can have a super fat ass, yeah. big titties, everything, boom, boom. And she can come through with nothing. Yeah. But well, she's absolutely nice and she is great to be. Everything. Yeah. She's everything that you're not. So all that, that you have, it doesn't really, you know yeah, what I'm saying? This win. Yeah. Yeah. The, the she's internal there. more. She's yeah. there with you. Yeah. Yeah. Because like Sika is super cool, but do you know who Sika Black is? No. Tell her who Sika Black is. Yeah, I don't Sika know. is. Who you shot with? Sika is like a um. Sika's an older. Sika is a Kruger. Oh yeah, she's yeah, a Kruger. she's white, white Kruger. Cool. Very cool though. Yeah, yeah. She's like much older. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. How old is she? How old she now? Do we, do we not say? Do we not say? She's like in the like oh, granny. Dude, I. Yeah, she's, like she's a guilt. Yeah, 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 definitely yeah, yeah. a cool. guilt. But yeah, like, like, I have not met her face to face. I saw her one time when I was at AVN, but like, she's been around, you know, and she's cool. super, but she's knows herself. Yep. You know, so obviously whoever she's dealing with, she's not Yeah. just floating around. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, nah, she has, she has a connection and that was the first like That's person cool. that like showed me that like, you know, like. <laughs> Once we shot, she let me know that we was going to keep shooting and, you know, Great. she was going to plug me in with other people. So, like, that's how I shot with, like, Kenza Fox. I shot with Kenza Fox through Sika. Cool. You know, I got, um, Sika also was, like, the connection between me and, um, Brianna Moore. So, it was, like, yeah, I shot with Sika and then it was, like, it started opening. That's great. And then I shot with, um, she was your... Seren. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. so cool. So she remembers like the third person. She was, she seems mm-hmm. like a nice. Person. It was Sika, Brianna, then Seren. Yeah. Mhm. <laughs> well, that's cool. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I've mostly been shooting like with friends and my husband and like amateurs. I've only recently shot with like industry, industry people, but um, I feel like everybody's been very personable i haven't had any bad experiences or anyone who wasn't actually trying to like connecting with me or trying to connect with me um in the shoot so but i mean i think um i feel like i've gotten quite good at just like through communication and the way people talk or the way you talk on the phone understanding like okay this is going to be a person that you know a shoot's going to go well with yeah or yeah definitely and yeah. references, you know. Oh, I definitely. Put you with somebody who I didn't think was going to be able to like work well. Mm-hmm. Right. You can't predict everything, you know. <laughs> but there are some you that can. you're like, I think that maybe you know my last experience it went well here, so I think that this can go well here. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Here's here's people's socials. Do your research or not? Right. Mm-hmm. What do you I think? think? <laughs> I think um, demeanor plays a um, big part. Mm-hmm. You yeah. Know? As far as how you carry yourself, because if you carry yourself well with me, then it's right. like, all right, yeah. I shot with Laura before. Yeah. She's a true year behind me. Like, <laughs> yeah. 
You feel me? So that's what you will always want. Right, you will exactly. always want that big up when you're not there, especially yeah. in something like this where it's like, mm-hmm. you know. Everybody. Where you're spending days of, together. Yeah, and, a whole bunch yeah. of shit going on and shit like that. So, yeah. Because not everything be is like this. Not mm-hmm. everything is multiple days of like... Right. Vibing yeah. and oh, so we went to the gym and, and we how many people? And how many people and... can you really pull together and put together and have it? Um, how you say that shit? Have it? Um, Flo- yeah, flowing. Flo- have, have it? Have it fluent? Yeah, mm-hmm. you feel me? Fluent is fluent is a very important thing because fluency yeah. is like it gives you the space and the openness to really be like you, like I. Mm-hmm. I have no problem with going to go shoot this, do this, do this, do this. All right, he's cool, she's cool. This is it. Like, right, we can work. Yeah, you know. Yeah, completely agreed. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, where do you see yourself going in the future? Um. In the next, uh, let's call it five years. In the next five years, <laughs> yeah. I say, I say, in the next two years, I want to do a lot of more things. Good. With a lot of people who I really want to shoot with yeah and a new style of shooting okay because right now with me being here this is going to be like all the new stuff that i drop so from here on it's going to be that type of look yeah this type of woman Mm. like it's going to be a certain type and i have to have a certain type because you got to put a line on it you got to have standards you got to like you know yeah it's just you, you. You just gotta have it that way, you know. Like because there's yeah. women that there's women that's gonna be like, oh no, I don't want to work with him. Then and you gotta be the same. Like oh no, I don't want to work with her. Yeah. You know, like yeah. I need to work with somebody who I know look mm-hmm. good on camera. Yeah. The same way that I look good on camera. Who's gonna fuck me the same way that I'm gonna fuck them? And right. The people is gonna want to see that. Right. Because the interaction is mm-hmm. undeniable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you mean. So, like... Yeah, that'd be cool. I don't want it to be mismatched. Like, I look good, she don't look good. <laughs> so... You're taking care of I'm, yourself yeah. and so she is So, if I'm coming been... inside the picture looking good, then whoever I'm shooting with, they gotta look good, too. Mm-hmm. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. Yeah, I also think that um, the lighting and having camera people. camera people is just such a saving grace. Lighting does a ton. It like, does. Because if you can't see, like if it's too dim or it's hotel. Because you're very dark. And you, and you don't have extra <laughs> lights. Like it's hard to see people's facial expressions yeah. or yeah. like your interactions or um, any of that. And the camera person, e- even that's halfway decent, they don't even have to be great. Yeah. As long as like, they can move around a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Which you have... Friends and people yeah. who are great camera already catching fast movements from you mm-hmm. from your yeah. skating world. So yeah, and you can they could just world. right yeah just yeah. be like and they would love to film that that would yeah. be way more fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they like filming skating too, but yeah. probably it would be fun. Yeah, for they them. would definitely like to film that. <laughs> or at least you know they get to maybe meet some of your cute mm-hmm. girls too. But that's the cool part about learning how to advance with this and be like, okay, well, this is what I got to do moving forward. Mm-hmm. Oh, by the way, I'm just going to throw this in there for people. Mm-hmm. He's also very talented at music. Oh, yeah. We, <laughs> if you haven't checked this out, go, we listen go look to, him up. Um, one of his music videos on the, on the television. On the YouTube. On the YouTube. And it was really good. Yeah. So if you want to see how multi-talented he really is, like he's just yeah. hitting on all of these Very amazing impressive. notes. So, yeah. yeah. I try. I try. So, you succeed. <laughs> yeah. Shout out your um, socials and where everyone can find you. Um, my Instagram is BashiPope2.0 B-O-S-C-H-I P O P E two dot zero. Um, my Instagram is Bashi Worldwide. Um, I know that's my Twitter. My Twitter is Bashi Worldwide. My Snap is Bashi XXX. Um, oh, and my um, my OnlyFans is yes. Bashi Worldwide. Yeah. yeah. Worst case. Hit link tree. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can just the hit links. the link in my bio on my Instagram and yeah. Yeah. it's there. You know Literally, you just, just click stuff. links. Yeah. Everyone, mm-hmm. it's easy. Click the link and it's, everything is there. Yeah. Oh, there. And um, I would say just to people 
watching out there. Um, his style is very intense, long, and good, connected, aggressive sex. <laughs> so um, I think there's a lot of people that are into that. Yeah. Uh, like, I haven't ever seen Siren contort like that or um, <laughs> make, make those faces. She, I couldn't tell if she was coming or dying. But I asked her later, and she was coming. Yeah, she, right. it was solid. It was solid. Yeah, she just like collapsed after. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and I, I wasn't sure if I was watching sex or an exorcism, but I think it was both. Right, actually, right. Yeah, both, both. Siren yeah. has lots of lots of things that need to be let out. Yeah, yeah. they get pent up. Yeah. yeah, only big dicks can get them out. It's it, it's it's true. It's Therapy. Therapy. <laughs> well, I'm glad we decided to have like a nice yeah, this little was, this was very little chat. Nice. Yeah, you this know? Very felt like a good. Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah. <laughs> with the world. Yeah, with, with, the, world. with the world, of course. <laughs> with, the world. with the world wide. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thank you all so much. All right. Peace out. <laughs>